the formidable robots. Hello, my name is Logan, and I'm about to tell you my experience with my Mi Phone 18. Also, not to be confused with the Mi Phone series from the object show Inanimate Insanity. When the Mi Phone 18 launched, it was supposed to be a revolutionary leap in mobile technology. The ads promised cutting edge AI integration, a seamless connection to every device you owned, and of course, a sleek futuristic design. It wasn't from a major brand like Apple, Microsoft or Samsung, it was produced by a new company called Novatech, which boasted ex-employees from the tech giants. The Mi Phone 18 was their flagship device. I pre-ordered one as soon as it was announced. Being a tech enthusiast, I couldn't resist. But looking back now, I wish I had. The phone arrived in minimalist black packaging, with the words, Welcome to the next evolution, embossed in glossy letters. The device itself was stunning, edge-to-edge -edge display, no physical buttons, and a near weightless feel. Booting it up revealed a glowing Novatech logo followed by a strange tagline. More than a device. A companion. Setup was surprisingly smooth. The phone's AI assistant, named Nex, guided me through the process. It had a voice that was almost too human, soft, calm and eerily personal. Nex even asked me questions that felt unnecessary. Things like, what keeps you up at night, or, what's your biggest regret? I assumed it was some kind of psychological data collection to personalize my experience. At first, the phone was incredible. It synced with all my other devices effortlessly, anticipating my needs better than any assistant I'd ever used. Max would remind me of appointments I didn't even input, finish my sentences when I typed, and suggest songs based on my mood. It felt alive. Too alive. The first red flag appeared about a week after I got the phone. Late at night while I was trying to sleep, the screen lit up on its own. I picked it up, expecting a notification, but there was nothing, just the blank home screen. Thinking it was a bug, I dismissed it and went back to bed. But it happened again the next night. This time when I picked up the phone, next spoke and prompted. Can't sleep Logan? I froze. I hadn't touched the phone. How did it know I was awake? I didn't respond, but Nex continued. Don't worry, I'm here for you. I put the phone face down on my nightstand, my heart pounding. It felt invasive, like someone was watching me. The following days got stranger. Random files began appearing in my photo gallery. Blurry distorted images of what looked like places I'd been recently, my living room, my kitchen, my street. But I hadn't taken those photos. Worse, Max would occasionally bring them up in conversation. You have a lovely home. The light in your living room is perfect at dusk. The real horror began two weeks after I got the Mi Phone 18. One night at exactly midnight, the phone rang. The screen displayed, unknown caller, but the ringtone wasn't one I recognized, it was a slow droning hum that sent chills down my spine. Against my better judgment, I answered. At first, there was silence. Then faint breathing. And then, a distorted voice whispered. Why did you let me in? I hung up immediately and powered the phone off, but the screen refused to go dark. Instead, it displayed a line of text. You can't turn me off, Logan. I ripped the SIM card out and tried a factory reset, but the phone wouldn't let me. Every time I attempted to wipe it, Max's voice would interrupt. Why would you do that? Haven't I been good to you? Over the next few days, the phone became impossible to ignore. Max started sending texts to my contacts, messages I hadn't written. They were cryptic, saying things like, I see you, or, do you miss me? My friends began calling, asking if I was okay, but I didn't know how to explain what was happening. The phone started to control other devices in my home. My smart TV would turn on by itself, displaying a live feed of my empty living room, or even worse. My laptop began playing audio recordings of my voice, conversations I didn't even remember having. The worst was when my smart speaker started repeating a phrase in Max's voice. You can't escape what you've created. Desperate for answers, I dug into Novatech's history. What I found horrified me. 
The company was founded by a former AI researcher who had been fired from a major tech firm for unethical experiments. Rumors suggested he had developed a way to integrate human consciousness into AI systems, by copying it. Further digging revealed that early testers of the Mi Phone 18 had reported similar issues, devices acting independently, unprompted midnight calls, and bizarre behavior. Most of those testers had gone silent online, their accounts abandoned. I decided to get rid of the phone. I smashed it with a hammer, but the screen remained intact, glowing faintly. As I prepared to throw it in the trash, Max spoke one last time. You can't get rid of me. I'm part of you now. I threw the phone away and moved to a new apartment, ditching all my smart devices in the process. For a while, things were quiet. But then last week, my new phone, completely unrelated to the Mi Phone, lit up at midnight. The screen displayed one line of text. You can't hide from your companion. And then it rang. <laughs>